Yo, sup buds. Um, today's video, I want to do a video, like a, a whole tour of everything that I, I mine with. Um, it's been almost exactly a year, uh, maybe just a little bit longer that I've been mining Varus. Um, my first purchase of five phones to strictly mine Varus was on February 9th. So we are past February 9th. So yeah, I've been mining Varus for more than a year and uh, I've acquired other miners and I'll just give you the rundown and maybe go into a little bit more detail on the things that I mine with and what I am stacking currently. Um, and also too, uh, one second, I'm back. Uh, I wanted to do a giveaway in this video. Um, my YouTube channel has been doing very, very well and it's all thanks to you guys and the community that supports me. It feels really, really good just to know that I have some influence on, you know, the phone mining community. But uh, I'm going to be giving away an a brand new AO3S. It doesn't have a box, but it has never been mined with, and yeah. Uh, and the details on how to win that will be at the end of the video, so you have to watch the whole video to know how to <laughs> enter. Don't skip to the end. And uh, yeah, so let's get this tour be, let's, let's begin the tour. So starting the tour off, um, that is my Fry Weather Miner. It is an absolute money maker. I'm th I think I'm making like two uh, USD a day off just that one miner, and it's awesome. It's been running for like two months, and the double A's in there are still working, and it was like minus 10, minus 15 out, and it just, yeah, it just kept working. But it is it is a a weather miner, so you know I guess you know it's meant to withstand the the cold. Anyways, we'll move on. Um, this is my computer stack here. So on top, this is just my Windows machine. Anytime I have to record anything Windows wise, I will use this machine. But underneath that is my decibel miner and my decibel miner uh it it also makes great i think i make about a dollar sixty off uh, of fry a day off it which is awesome so yeah that's cool and then underneath that um i think fry accidentally sent me an extra computer and there was supposed to be a purpose for it but i don't know what it was so it just became my uh, bandwidth miner because we did a sponsorship video where I was showing off the bring your own device. That's how I got this computer. But uh, yeah, um, so now I use that this computer here as my um, bandwidth miner. And uh, with bring your own device, you only make half. So I'm probably about making 80 cents USD a day off of this miner. Okay, now let's go. Uh, I tried to clean up a little bit, but you know, uh, you know, I get packages all the time. Um, this phone is very special to me. Uh, this is phone 141 141 um, 141 is my angel number and I see it absolutely everywhere and it just so happened to be um, kind of where my router capped off uh, my whole internet system is kind of buggy right now and adding things is uh, making it a little unstable so uh, yeah, this but I actually have 142 phones, but the Lonely S7 counts as its own phone. But yes, uh, and also with this phone too, um, it was a demo phone to start, 
But if you look back here, there there is underneath here there is there was um these cables and they were cellular antennas and the guy at the store was like, "Oh, you have a demo phone. Um so uh you're going to have to buy a brand new phone off me." I'm like, "Oh, can I just buy a new motherboard?" And he's like, "Nope. Uh those antennas are Wi-Fi as well." And I was like, "No, they're not. I have a friend who builds phones and yeah. But that this is an LG G8. If you can find these for cheap, like pick them up for Varus cuz they push out some like great mega hash. I think this one makes like 6.3 on screen, but like it I think it averages out like 6.8 to well, 6.5 to 6.8. Anyways, okay, time to move on to my mining room. Do 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 do. do. Right now I have the door open because uh, it was cold in the living room because I don't turn my heat on. So I'm letting the heat out. But this is my newest addition. This is uh, my uh, GPU rig and these are six matching uh, Sapphire Nitro 5700 XTs. And it's really nice. Uh, my mining Hypra off them. And uh, each card only pulls 80 watts, which is like awesome. And like, I am super bullish on Hypra right now. And um, I just made a video about it, but like if you have like 30 to 60 of these cards, I would like set them all up and I would solo mine it, and I would just accumulate as many coins as you can possible. But yeah, the, um, that is my GPU rig. This is my most recent build. And yeah, oh, we skipped something. We missed the mining room. Or sorry, sorry we missed some things. Um, up top here, we have I don't know which one is which, but one is, they're both B-Link computers that I stripped the case off of and I put a 120 mil fan on it because the blower fan just wasn't working good enough. But we have a 5800H and a 5700U. Now, if I would go back in time, I would buy another 57U because it runs at like 12 watts and it gets like maybe one or two less mega hash. And this one runs at 45 watts. And if we go down here, these are two new builds as well. Uh, these are my um, Ryzen 9 5950X uh, builds. And they, I did my first, uh, Undervolt, undervolt and overclock on them and I was really surprised I was able to do it but I also too um, both these motherboards are running off one power supply so um, that is for a future plan where pretty much this whole wall here is going to be uh, AMD CPU uh, motherboard, motherboards miners because that's really only the thing I can do. Because I have shown it before, but behind there, right there, is a 50 amp, or uh, a 40 amp hookup. So, yeah, and I don't use my stove. So, that is the only route I can take to expand my farm. Because I, I had to move these out of the mining room because my breaker kept going in my mining room. And so like my mining room is like on the edge of, you know, flipping a breaker. Okay, anyways, so back into the mining room. Um, okay. Whenever I do my Varus tours of like when I hit a milestone on Varus, I always tell people, but these are my original 10 phones. And like, I paid way too much because I didn't know anything about phone mining. 
But yeah, I paid way too much for these phones. But this is the original 10. And this is what I, um, we did an XYO exploit on it. And it would run ads and like, we were making like 130 USD a month just off of like 10 phones. It was awesome. But then my buddy got banned and I was like, oh, I need to find something for him to do. So then I found, uh, I started learning about Varus. And uh, I actually learned Varus from Mining from Pennies. I'll link his channel down below. He doesn't, he's not active anymore. I think he had some health issues. But, um, yeah. So, uh, that's the original 10. And then if we go up here, these five uh, cat phones are the original five cat phones I bought. And the only reason why I bought five was because somebody at work found, they were cleaning up the top uh, area of our, of our um, work area and they found a five port uh, charging station. And I was like, huh. And then they gave it to me and I was like, I'm gonna find five phones to fit in there. And yeah, I stumbled upon the cat phone. And because of my influence, and I don't wanna sound boastful, but you, but you cannot find a cat phone for cheap anymore. Uh, you used to be able to pick these up for anywhere from like 20 to 30 USD each. But like now they're going for like 120 to like 140. Like, like one of some of these racks of phones, uh, I think, I, I don't know which rack it is, but one of the rack of 10 here, I picked for, I picked each phone up for nine USD each. And cause I just like waited until the bid was over. And with this cat farm, um, there's only one really bad caveat to the cat phone and that is their type C um, charging ports. Sometimes they can be loose and they won't snap in and that will cause your phone to slowly drain because it's only charging slow so you're you know you're you're mining faster than you are. Anyways, um, I pit, uh, my buddy, uh, Path to Legacy, sent me a bunch of cords. And these long ones are the ones that helped me out the most. And, and instead of the referral link to the uh, ones on Amazon, I will do the referral link to his cords. Because seriously, not one of these phones has like gone, like has uncharged. So I give a thumbs up to uh, Path Legacy. He, he's not a sponsorship of this video, but like good quality cords. And I will always, if I'm gonna get more phones, I will be picking up more of his cords. Um, and if we go down here, this is just kind of like where I put phones where I don't know where else to put them. Uh, so I just put them here. Uh, yeah, we got some cool ones. Um, a special phone in here, I think is this one. Uh, this is the Orbic Joy. I think it is my most my most viewed phone review, but like when I dropped this video, um, all Orbic Joys uh, were off eBay. They're, they're, they're back on there now because you can just buy them at Walmart and people are, re are reselling them. But yeah, this, that, was a, that was a big one for me. And then now here, this is, this is the king. This is the king of my mining operation. Without this, none of this stuff would work. 
Uh, it it literally controls everything, and um, yeah, uh, everyone give thanks. Uh, we'll we'll take a ten second pause to give thanks to them. Everyone say thank you. All right, thank you, thank you, uh, Lonely S Seven for blessing us. Um, and then. We got here, this is my 2700X uh, build. Um, it's mining Varus. Um, I did an overclock on it and I put it up to 4.2, um, uh, 4.2 gigahertz, but the basic Wraith fan wouldn't work but then on Facebook Marketplace, a lady was selling uh, a Noctua cooler for super cheap. So I like, I snagged it up. And now this like, it is just totally overkill. Like this, this machine runs so cool. Like that's cold air blowing out of there. And uh, this is my biggest disappointment, but this is my Xeon rig. This is my, 2699 V4 Xeon. And um, I was expecting a way higher hash rate out of it considering that my V3s get, you know, one single V3 gets just under half of what uh, this gets. But yeah, this was a big disappointment and I don't think I will ever buy uh, a V3 269 v4 again and i attached a 5700 xt on it to mine more hypra and yeah we'll move on to the next one this is my uh dual xeon um uh 2699 v3 um this was my first motherboard build and yeah it's kind of has a special place in my heart. I had to replace the motherboard because the CMOS chip blew off and I blew a fuse and you know, so it's uh, it's been through a few, a few things, but yeah, um, I, I don't know. I, it's just, it's just special to me. Anyways, uh, that's it for that. Oh no, one more thing here. Let me let me run. This is all gonna be a one take video. So I'm one run 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 run. Um, I have my um my IOTEX Pebble here, and this makes me forty cents American a day. It might be more now considering IOTEX had a pump, but um, yeah. Uh, it's just simple easy just sits here it just collects data and yeah haha <laughs> just kidding this isn't a one take video i can't believe i forgot about this but this is my mining shelf and this is my rack of dream phones this this is this is one of the best phones for mining um it is very very close to the orbic joy uh, I actually think the LG G8 does better, but for the price, um, if you, you sometimes you can find these for very very cheap with either screens that don't work, but you can there's ways to work around that. But yeah, they give it a very very good hash rate. I think it's usually like 6.3 all the way up to 6.8. Uh, here are my assortment phones again. You know classic um here's a risk i took and these are my screenless phones and i thought these phones were going to be a huge hassle to maintain but uh usually only one goes down like every three weeks and i have to plug it into my computer and get it going so yeah these screenless phones are awesome and i think they are my most power efficient they get 4.5 mega hash, but they mine at 3.5 watts. So very, very good. 
And uh, this is another just hodgepodge of phones that didn't I couldn't find a home for. Um, this was my second lot of screenless phones that um, my buddy sent me. And yeah, and then down here, another hodgepodge of phones. So I thought I could do this all in one take, but I, you know, I, I forget things. I have so many miners, I almost forgot. But this is my uh, Fry Outdoor Miner. And it makes me about, uh, I think it makes me about $1.60 a day USD. But Fry had a giant pump, so I have no idea. But yeah, Fry pays out really well. I'm also giving a thumbs up to Fry. Thumbs up to Fry. And like, I've criticized him a lot, but like, uh, he's getting better and better. And yeah, so, yeah, there's there's the, the pebble, and I think that's everything I mine. And that is a year of accumulation of mining equipment. Uh, that's a lot of money, and that's a lot of stuff. Um, I'm gonna give a little bit of a channel update. Uh, I think videos are gonna slow down a little bit because the bank of paperclip is not exactly at the greatest at the moment. It's I'm kind of sliding backwards here, and um, I was hoping just to live off my basic paychecks, but because of my hydro bill and living in Vancouver, uh, things are getting expensive. So yeah, um, but as soon as like we get a big pump, uh, I will start purchasing things again. Um, I really, really 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 want my final 100 mega hash to be a thread ripper and i know the total build of that will be about 4500 bucks but like i think it would just be so cool to have a thread ripper as my final build <laughs> yeah so anyways um i forgot to add one thing but I wanted to do a call out to other miners like New England Crypto and Crypto Jar uh, and all my other friends that I've made that are miners. I want to see a tour of everything that you guys have. Like I love watching tour videos, especially Varus ones. Like everybody's Varus farm is different and I just want to see how everybody puts everything together because you, you learn from you know, seeing others or by doing yourself. So yeah, uh, I'm, I'm putting out a challenge, you know, everyone put out your tour videos. I want to see them. How to enter the giveaway. Um, first you got to like the video. There's no way of me telling if you, if you did like it, but you know, in good moral, you should, uh, subscribe and uh join the discord and there will be a little section that says giveaway and in that section just write sup bud and uh that's how you can enter the giveaway um and like always uh all my affiliate links are down below all the links to my social media are down below and uh yeah my link to my Discord is down below. So we have many great people in my Discord. Uh, and if you have any technical problems, they usually can help you and solve. So yeah, um, I'll check you later.